Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Ravi and I am going to explain you today clinical search topic 32. What are the top 10 rapid interview question and answer? This is a part one. We will soon we'll go into do uh, some more versions of this uh, rapid interview question and answers. Okay. The first question is what happen if you use the PROC transpose without out equal to statement? Generally in the PROC transpose procedure we use out equal to and put him on data set name. If you are not putting the out equal to statement what happen? You know this is the data set and if you use the PROC transpose procedure without out statement in the first time if you run the SAS session we will create the data 1 data set if you run once again second time it is a data 2 data set was created if you run third time it is a data 3 data set was created and what is the second uh, question is proc sort without by statement what happened if you are writing the any proc sort procedure without by statement what happened you know we are getting our error no by statement used or no by variables are specified a by statement must be used with the variable names to sort on okay. the proc sort procedure is basically based on the by variables only we are getting the error if you are not using the by statement in the proc sort procedure okay and third one is what is the difference between the by and clause statement in any other procedure like you no know, proc means or any other procedure if what is the difference between by and clause statement here you can see the proc summary procedure I am using the by here and I am using the class here and we are uh, generating some sum equal to statistics but by using the by statement we are not getting any sum statement some you know calculations by class statement we are getting you know 539 total number of subjects count we are getting here and you know the by statement repeats on the analysis on every subgroup the, but the class statement includes a categorical variable and it is used to comparing the group uh, using the by statement similar to the class statement and the for example nv options used procedure in the proc means summarize each by group as a independent subset of the input data therefore no overall summarization of the input data is available you know unlike class statement the by statement if you are using the by statement before it should be sorted in the by variable order only the data set should be we are using the by statement the data set should be sorted in the which variable you are uh, mentioning in the by statement the same thing uh, sorting before we are using the by statement and you know what is the difference between the by and uh, class is uh, the input data must be sorted in the by variable if it is using the by statement the data set should be sorted as per the by variables and it does not have user to sort by the class variable and you know this nv option used proc means and the by summarize are reported to separate tables various class statement appear in the single table for example if you want to uh, split the our report to the each pages the by statement was used the class statement if you are using the all the information comes into one page only and the main procedure is more efficient at treating by groups than class group okay and here one more example this is the data set continuous data control type is there and this is the weight gain and writing the proc means procedure we are getting all the summary statistics of the particular type continuous type and control type okay if you are using the proc t test the class statement generally used whenever we want to comparing the groups for example by using the class statement in the proc t test method you are getting the you know comparison between the continuous and control type we are getting the one more uh, information like difference between this continuous and control and we are getting the upper level and lower level uh, confidence level uh, as well as the p values etc things we are getting by using the class statement in the proc test by using the you know a proc uh, t test by variable we are not individually we are getting the information but there is no comparison between the two tests we are not getting this by using the by statement and here what is the summary statistics if only one subject 
is there if the study have uh, happening only one subject or the data set having only one subject if you are applying the summary statistic like you know proc means or proc summary procedures what are the results of summary statistics we are getting is you know the standard deviation is dot means there is only one subject there is no only comparison the standard deviation we are getting only dot and the minimum maximum values are we have only one value that is the minimum that is only maximum and mean also uh, only one subject is there that is the only value we are getting in the mean also and how to extract second one from the each row for example this was the strings a uh, different different strings we want to put the second one from the uh, each row for what last we are uh, picking the last to second word so we are using a scan function for picking the words but if you are putting the minus 2 means they are picking the last to second word okay here you can see last to second word we are picking by using a scan as well as negative uh, numbering okay and warning observation omitted due to missing id values in the proc transpose in the by using the proc transpose if any uh, we are using the id statement if the id statement we are mentioning one variable if the variable having any missing value uh, we are getting the warning like you know observations are omitted due to missing values so what uh, the rectification of this warning how to do you rectify this warning means here you can see id equal to treatment and a treatment has two observations missing so we are getting observations omitted due to missing id value how to rectify this one means we are applying uh, for example this is the way first method you know where treatment not equal to missing those only we need to represent in the output data set otherwise if you want to include the missing information into the data set first we assign this missing to 99 and after transposing the variable we are getting underscore 99 we can drop or we can use that underscore 99 variable to our analysis purpose okay and variable missing in a column statement in the proc report for example here the column statement only mentioned the type but we are defining the type and numeric number so what happen if you miss to add this variable to column statement we are getting a warning like you know num is not in the report definition in the interviewer may ask you like you know if it is the variable is not there in the column section if you are defining what will get we are getting a warning message and in case for example if you are uh, mentioning the two variables in the column section and defining only variable what happened we are not getting any warning the default behavior of the particular variable they automatically printed in the proc uh, report output window or any other output mentioned in the program okay and how to remove the special character from the six or if you are dealing with the aer cm or any other related coding related data set we are getting so many special character how to remove the special character by using the compress function if for example here you can see the x variable has so many special characters if you are mentioning this syntax like x the variable and you are mentioning these are the special characters if you mention then all the special characters removed by this compress function and the maximum number of title statement the maximum number of titles and footnotes as per the SAS is 10 only if you have to increase the title and footnotes uh, uh, basically if it would only 10 but if you are customizing your output like RTF PDF any notepad we are uh, doing it in the compute back level or any adding the by section in the proc report section we can write so many uh, titles and footnotes those are not basically titles and footnotes but as per our customization we need to add this uh, statements to our output and the compute block as well as here you can see compute after and we are writing some some more lines these are lines we can print these lines to before page we can call it as title and footnotes etc things okay and how to delete all the data sets in the work library by using any syntax by using the proc data set library equal to work kill memory type equal to data we can uh, delete all the data set once we started our programming we are checking uh, whether any data sets present in the work library or not if any work library is there we use the sentence with the syntax 
so it will kill all the data set which are present in the work library thanks for attending thanks for watching this uh, video if you like please like share and comment if you want more interesting clinical saas topics or any information please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video for more interesting saas interview topics please subscribe my channel thank you